Time once again for the Real Sheeple Multi-Game Solitaire Mega Tournament. We are nearing the end of the game, I believe. Fry's just last time defeated the dragon, so he now has one favor, essentially, or one key, or one ticket, whatever you want to call it, one of the two points he needs to win. The only other person who has that is still Curly, who, as you may recall, um, has been floundering through most of the game. Uh, he's doing better now, though. He has this mighty sword and this amulet. He potentially could be back in the game. Who's not back in the game, or in the game really at all, is Half Pint. She just lost her um, one ticket, essentially, to Fry. So she has nothing. She has very little strength, and she is very, very slow. Um, Scoots also lost out a lot last time. She is over here with, by herself, nearing the little girl, which I find interesting, just personally. She was the one who, uh, left the little girl earlier when she could have very easily brought her back to the White Village. She didn't do so, and maybe this is a bit of karma happened to her. Um, Scoots went down into Der Antervelt when maybe it was not so wise and suffered the consequences, as did Mooney's Aqualad, who is now out of the game. Um, that didn't deter Red Tomato, though. Maybe he is trying to prove something wrong, or that... Hmm. I don't know what he's trying to prove, but he's down in Der Antervelt now, and if he can score a victory, then he could be against Durfordampta. He could head back up here and win the game. Bam, bam. Scoots tried a, a similar thing with the dragon, but was not successful. Weeder, Ben and Der Untervelt, uh, Der Antervelt, through most of the game, she's back down here again. She came up sh very briefly to take Scoots out, um, and then returned. She still doesn't have what she needs, though, after all this time spent working on getting the tools and Der Ferdampta in chaos at the same time. People keep getting in her way and slowing her down, and she keeps getting sidetracked. And now, yet one more person has come to challenge her uh, dominion, so to speak, Sir Red Tomato. After Half Pint beat some wolves, Curly just beat defeated the Basilisk. That's going to give him yet one more red cube. And I was noticing something as I was placing that red cube, and that is if Curly manages to get his red um, cubes into the 5x range, he'll actually be stronger than Fry's, um, which is interesting to note because Fry's is almost definitely heading that way. And Scoots, she has moved to the space where the little girl, the little white girl, is um, being guarded by this troll. Now, if you recall, it was Half Pint who um, was taking care of the little girl and didn't want her to um, have to encounter the Nameless with her, um, who placed the troll in charge of her. Um, Scoots is now coming back to say, I will bring you back home. Your, your days of traveling can be done if you will just come with me. The little girl is afraid of Scoots, though. Scoots was that bad lady who left her out in the woods somewhere. Um, and so the troll is going to attack. Scoots is going to use her lightning spell to try and take the troll down. She has to hit it twice. And that first time is going to go. Ooh, that was an interesting roll. Um, now, second time. Lightning. And this time she did it as well. This 1-1 one, one balanced out all these 6s. A lot of 6s and 1s. Alright, so the troll is d defeated. And whether the little girl wants to or not, she's going again with Scoots. Back in Der Antervelt, uh, Red Tomato is going to roll to see if he can defeat Orion and get the right to use his bow. That's going to give him two different magic bows. If he's successful. Needs a three. What's that going to be? What's that going to be? That's not it. He's close, but not close enough. I think he got a four last time. Now it's going to be Weeder's turn. She's trying to get um, the scythe. It's called a census. I, I, I don't know the German pronunciation. Um, four dice. She needs to get a six or better. And she, once again, was not successful. Back up again to half pint. Half pint, um... She's going to pick up the saber, and then she's going to attempt 
to pick up the magic broom. She's one of the few people who actually has a chance of getting it except for Scoots. Scoots is the only other person. Um, Red Tomato, the penalty is too harsh for him. Um, so we'll see, she gets three dice. Oh no, four. Uh, yeah, three dice. She has to get a three or better. And very close. That's a that's very similar to what happened to Red Tomato just now. It's Curly fails against the lion bear that he placed there. Fries moves south towards the teleporter to make his way clear across to the nameless. Um, Scoots has planted this counter right here. The thief. The thief has been a main source of money this game. I don't know if you've noticed that. Uh, we'll see if it'll pay off for Scoots as well. And she doesn't... Oh, she does have to use her lightning because the thief is immune to magic otherwise. And that's going to work, so Scoots gets three coins. That's going to be nice for her. She's close to um, the City of Mages, so she could purchase something like, say, the Pegasus and be able to move again. Uh, if she could fly over to her magic broom, she might be back in the game. And we're going to roll off again in um, Der Unter Untervelt against the different um, weapon masters. First Orion for Sir Red Tomato. He needs a three or better on four dice. And that is difficult. As Tice so ably showed us, it's hard to get under three. Four is doable. Three seems to be nigh on impossible. It's not impossible though, just improbable. Um, Weeder again needs to get a six or better. And that's gonna do it. So she gets the scythe back, the census that she had earlier in the game. She's gonna have to give up something. Um, I guess she's gonna give up this armor. Just drop it down here. And she's gonna get a hefty lead against her for Dapta now. Half Pint gave up on getting the broomstick. That was really just because she was there. She she actually considered um, hanging out and trying to get it. The problem is uh, with being unable to get the dragon score and being a little too weak to get past Curly and the Nameless, or a lot too weak, um, she feels like her best opportunity is down here somewhere in the dark. And she's kind of at the place, I think, in the game where she needs to be shooting in the dark. Curly continues his training in preparation for Fry's arrival. Alright, what did he get? He got enough. So he's getting very close to being a match for Fry's. He, his only... Well, he's, Fry's has him on armor, <laughs> definitely, but he's doing what he can. And people are laying a lot of things in Fry's path. Curly led, uh, laid this, and Scoots laid this, so we'll see. Fry's has got to confront his doppelganger. That means he has to fight it without any cubes. Two dice, he needs to get six or better. Um, he's actually going to go with his ranged ability. And I need to check to see if the doppelganger lets him use this or not. I think it's just starting starting uh, stats, so it, I think it may need to be six or better. Let me check that and I'll get back to you. Yeah, it's straight up six or better. And seven. Yikes. Well, not yikes. He's just going to lose something. What does he lose from the doppelganger? An experience cube. Fries doesn't really care about that. He'll get one off of his magic. He's got quite a lot of cubes to burn. And Scoots is uh, ha holding a market in the City of Mages. I She did this actually once before last video, but I didn't um, end up... I cut out the footage because it was just really long and boring and nothing really happened. Well, it wasn't boring. It was fascinating, but nothing really happened. Um, so she's got some money this time. Last time she didn't, she was just trying to sell to people and didn't really work. Um, she would like these three things. She can't afford all three of them, though, so she needs to find someone who is a sucker enough to buy this clairvoyance spell. And actually, I think Curly will buy it from her. Um, and he feels like it's a good investment, actually, um, because he is training, and he did get a counter just now that he wasn't able to use in his training. Uh, so that's just why he put it there. Um, so that's going to give her enough money to buy all of these things. And so she's going to do that. She might ditch the liar of Orpheus. <laughs> no. What? She can't afford all of this. Hmm. 
That spell, I don't know if she has to keep that in her supply or not. I don't think she does. But it gives her an extra health. So it's not an armor health, it's a natural health right there. And that'll be good. And that works well with the potion. Invisibility is interesting, um, too. So let's see what she does now. Red tomatoes roll underground. Still trying to beat Orion, getting that elusive three or less. We've seen a lot of snake eyes this game, though. It feels like... Three! Huh, he did it! Ooh, now it's going to be a real interesting race. So he gets the Boggan des Hercules. A special Vaf. And what can he get rid of? He is going to have to get rid of the Pegasus, I think. And I remember I ruled that the Pegasus flies home to the City of Mages if it's dropped in their enter belt. It doesn't want to hang out down there. Now it's Weeder's turn. Weeder's an old hand at this. She knows what to do. She's going to go squash the little people who have invaded her domain. It takes half pine only two steps, which is all she's capable of, capable of, to go to Erebus and pick up the Salenschwert. That's the soul sword, um, one of the cursed weapons of Der Verdamte. Fries has to contend with this next uh, barrier, and it's the thief again. I don't even know why I should roll. I, th I think he pretty much has it, but I will roll. Yep. Fries get some money. Not that that does him a lot of good. Things are just annoying, Fries. Red Tomatoes sitting on chaos. Next turn, he can explore. And if that avatar ends up there, then Durfordamta is going to appear right here. Uh, let's see if Weeder can get there in time. One, two, three, four, one, yeah. She, she'll be able to be there as well. Curly's trying to get his last red cube going up against the Harpy. Um, he has a minus two, so it's gonna, he needs a six or better. And he did that easily, easily. So Curly is now a match, at least attack-wise, for Fry's. He's stronger than Fry's attack-wise. And Curly was able to lay this in Fry's path. It's like every step Fry's takes, he has to fight but he kind of likes it. He, it makes him feel strong. Um, to face the Basilisk. If he loses to the Basilisk, interesting. He'll have to... Someone's going to move him probably the opposite direction, which will be bad. Um, for fries. Minus two to this. And let's see. He got a six was the best he had. And fries minus two, yeah. So Fries is infected by the Basilisk. Um, that means next turn he's someone else is going to move him. And I don't know if it's clockwise or counterclockwise. I'll have to figure that out. As Scoots heads along the northern edge of the world from the City of Mages to, pass, uh, to the temple, um, Red Tomato down in Der Entervelt is exploring. And here he is. We're going to see if this is the avatar or if this is something else. And it's not. It's something else. That's a gray dot monster. So he's got to contend with it with just his red um, melee. At a, yeah, I don't think he can possibly do it. I don't know how he can roll a one on two dice. But we'll let him try. Nope, he was not successful. So he's going to lose one of his precious healths. And that puts him in a rough position. One, two, three, four. Weeder can uh, get to him now. And Weeder's actually going to stop at Chaos. The reason why she doesn't want to head the extra step to get the jump on Red Tomato is twofold. One, she doesn't really want to deal with this lame knee right now. Um, she would be rolling against a two. And that would be really, she'd, probably, she'd just be sacrificing a life before she got to get a shot at Red Tomato. She's not sure that'd be worth it. And plus, she's confident she can just wait here. And what can they really do to her? She is much stronger than than uh, Red Tomato. And she's not really even considering Half Pint much at all. Um, but, you know, if, if it came down to it, she's stronger than Half Pint as well. So it's the player on Fry's left. Um, Fry's is right here. If you go left, you reach a wall. So I think that's maybe uh, Curly. Yeah, let's say it's Curly. Curly gets to move him. I don't think anyone would move him differently. I'm not sure. I don't. If it was Scoots, I don't think she would move him differently. They're going to move him back this way. Um, which means Fry's is going to have to go against the Doppelganger. Uh, he can't go any further than that. So... 
two dice under six. And again, he lost the doppelganger. Not a big deal. And come to her, Red Tomato does. Sir Red Tomato, I should add, he is going to attempt a duel with Weeder here. And he needs to get a nine or better, I think. He's got, what, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. She has 12. So yeah, that's a minus one, nine or better. And he did it, a six, that's gonna do it. He um, is going to take this armor of Persephone, maybe? Hmm, or does he wanna take this? Either are tantalizing. This is probably more so for him, just kind of the way he thinks. And he's gonna drop this bow on the ground. He's kind of in combat mode right now. So that's going to give him these two, and those can stack with his shield. But now it's Weeder's turn, and she's going to probably just hit right back and maybe take it right back. So she's still sitting on a 12. She's, she, can, she can just do it. She can just take it back, can't she? Yeah. I'll roll, though, just for Yep. And Half Pint's actually going to join in. She's going to first pick up this bow here. And I think she'll leave her bag of gold on the ground. Maybe. No, she's actually going to leave the saber on the ground. She likes the bag of gold. And she is going to... I guess she's going to take a shot at Weeder. Um, I forgot to put this back on Weeder. Uh, so she's got a... what does she have? A six, seven, eight against Weeder's 12, so that's going to be a minus 2. She's got to get a 6 or better on 2 dice. And she failed. Take 2, Fries versus the Basilisk. Uh, Basilisk gives him minus 2. He needs a 5 or better on 5 dice here. That looks really high. Yep, once again the Basilisk has defeated Fries and he is going to be confused again. And Red Tomato is not going to play this game. He's taken off. One, two, three, four. That is going to bring it to Weeder's turn. Weeder is going to, I think, finish off Half Pint. Um, don't really need to roll, but she's successful. So Half Pint drops a ton of stuff. Um, all of these things go right here. And then Half Pint flies away um, back to the dragon's place. She kept the bow though. And she's gonna lose all this stuff that she got. Man, people gotta learn. Don't go into their hunter bells, right? And again, Fries finds himself at the doppelganger. Six or better. He loses another cube. He's lost all his magic to the doppelganger. You can interpret that. Go ahead. And just to show you something, um, while Fries has been trying to get down to the teleporter to get over here, Scoots has made it just by walking with the little girl <laughs> all the way over to here. Um, she could get to the Nameless. Unfortunately, she doesn't have a quest. Down in Der Entervelt, uh, R Sir Red Tomato has made it to the River Styx. Weeder is not far behind, however, she is right there, creep catching up to him. Fries against the Basilisk. Take three. Five or less. Five dice. And he did it. Fries has defeated the Basilisk. Um, so what does he get? He gets a cube, and he's going to take a green cube and the right to progress further again. One, two, three, one, two. Two turns until he hits the teleporter. Shame on you, Scoot. So close to the white village, you instead lead that little girl into the swamp to be lost with you in the miasma of American gloom. Rather than run away, Red Tomato, um decides to bathe in the river sticks and clean himself up so he feels 100%. Um, Weeder isn't going to even mess with him though. She is heading up. Oh, she's got to go past him though. Two, three, 
four up to Hypno there. She's got her eyes on the prize. She wants to get out of the Der Antervel. She wants to beat Der Ferdamta and claim victory. And there we're going to have to leave it. Um, there is still... I still cannot say who is going to win. Fry seems dominant. It seems like if he hits that teleporter, he can head up to the nameless, but Curly is there in his way, and Curly has become no scrub. He, um, I, I don't know that he could fully take Fry's out, but he could definitely get in his way and delay him for several turns if that's what he wants to do. In the meantime, I would say, you know, looking across the board, even the weakest of those who remain seem to have some chance still, um, despite the fact that they may be, you know, have died several times or have lost almost everything. Um, I don't know. We'll see next time. Real people, multi-game solitaire mega tournament.